Amidst the outrage, brutality, and fear triggered by Russian President Vladimir Putin's decision to force hundreds of thousands of ordinary Russians to the front lines. Tonight, as the Ukrainian president accuses Putin of nuclear blackmail, the U.S. is issuing this warning. If Russia crosses this line, there will be catastrophic consequences for Russia. The United States will respond decisively. Thousands have taken to the streets across Russia to protest mobilization. Today, hundreds of Siberian women encircled police officers screaming no to genocide and demanding peace. As the country's men try to dodge potential draft orders any way they can. This man fled to Finland. I'm afraid to be mobilized. I don't want to, to participate in this war. So I decided to uh, escape. And in the Russian occupied areas of Ukraine, what the West calls a sham referendum. And the local population terrified that should Russia illegally annex their cities, they too could be forced to the front lines to fight against their homeland. NBC has spoken to one person living in occupied Kherson who describes total fear and panic. Everyone is planning their way out, they say, though men aged 18 to 35 are not being allowed to leave, adding that the city has been transformed into a large ghetto. Anything you do might lead to you dying and maybe your friends dying. They say the men are looking for places to hide. Tonight, there are unconfirmed rumors that President Putin is considering introducing partial martial law to stop the tidal wave of men eligible for the draft from fleeing the country. Kate? Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.